Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? Today we're going to go through some impulse responses from Nevo Studios in Sweden. They have done impulse responses from famous plate and spring reverbs. A disclaimer, I got these for free so I can show you what they are all about. And if you stay till the end of the video, I have a discount offer for you. Let's check them out. <laughs> What I got from Nevo Studios was a bundle with eight different gear which they have made impulse responses from. And the bundle contains of famous spring reverbs and plate reverbs. We have the famous EMT 140 plate, the EMT 240 gold plate, the Fashild 658 spring reverb, the famous AKG BX20 spring, Master Room Super C spring, Master Room XL305 Spring, Reverb System 9 Spring, and Stocktronics RX4000 Plate. Within those categories, they have done impulse responses with different settings and lengths of the reverb. They have also been kind enough to include some presets for the most commonly used impulse response reverbs. And the installation is simple. Just follow the PDF and restart your door and you're ready to go with these reverbs. So how do they sound like? So here I have the Roger That Song of 2021. I use that because I don't have to apply and search for permissions. I don't need that when I show you my own song. So I hope you can live with that. I've copied a couple of tracks a snare, roads, and a lead, so we can listen to the reverbs on those tracks because it's three tracks with three different characters. The snare drum dry sounds like this. And then I have a space designer with the Nevo EMT 140, one and a half seconds. And the snare drum with that reverb sounds like this. And I have exaggerated the reverb so we can hear it clearly. It's very much reverb, but okay. I want to compare that reverb to some 140 simulations I have already. I have this Arturia Rev Plate 140. I tried to do the settings the same. And the snare drum dry sounds like this. And with the Arturia. Totally different character. The Nevo again. The Nevo sounds much darker but also smoother. The Arturia is more aggressive and bitey. I also have this Universal Audio one EMT 140. Uh, I thought the C settings was closest to the Nevo, so I tried that. Compared to the Nevo. Universal Audio again. Mm. They both sound good in different ways. The Nevo is more like a pillow that hugs you, whilst the EMT is more like a tail on the signal, and the Arturia is a bit bitey. The next reverb I have with the vocals. So the lead vocals dry goes like this. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Like that. And I send this to an EMT 240 from Nevo. And then it sounds like this. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I... Really dark and moody, but 
cozy. I like it. I want to compare that to the EMT 250 that I have from Universal Audio. It's not really fair. The EMT 250 is actually a digital reverb. The first digital reverb, I think, at least the first commercial digital reverb from 1976. But where you use them are a bit similar. So let's let's listen to the 250. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. And the one and the 240 again. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. It's a bit bassy, but that could be also the space designer, because I believe, I have a feeling that the space designer is a bit thick at the bottom end. Maybe it's just me. The next reverb is the AKG BX20, which I have applied to the Rhodes, and it sounds, the Rhodes dry sounds like this. And so on, and with the AKG BX20. Really cool, really big, really atmospheric. Is that a word? Anyway, uh, I didn't have the Universal Audio BX20, so I took a demo. I have a demo of it now, so we can compare them. This is the Universal Audio one. Let's say I stop after the second note so we can hear the decay of the reverb. We start with the Universal Audio. And the Nevo impulse response. They are not quite the same, but they are very similar. Very, very similar. I also put an amp uh, designer thing on the Rhodes just to see how it sounds with an amp on it. The Rhodes dry, but with the amp, sounds like this. And with the Nevo reverb. Very cool, very cool. The Universal Audio BX20. I don't know if it has something to do with the settings, but I believe that the swell of the reverb is a bit faster on the Universal Audio than it is on the impulse response. I don't know if that's true to the real thing, or if it's just different between different hardware units. I don't know. Next, we have the Fairchild 658, and I set it to a medium setting. Here we can have some fun. Let's try and shorten this and also like this and see how it sounds. Even shorter. That is cool. It sounds more mono, but in a good way mono. I like it. The next reverb is the Nevo Master Room Super C Spring. And here you can see the different presets. We have the AKG BX20 mono, stereo, plate, and so on. The Master Room Super C Long. And the Rhodes is going to get a dose of that. Let's see how it sounds dry. 
with the Monster C. Okay, nice. This is a reverb I want to look for when I have an arpeggiated guitar, for example, just to fill in the gaps between the picking without the reverb being too obvious. Sounds wonderful, really wonderful. Next, we have the Master Room XL305, a unit I didn't know existed before I got this uh, bundle but let's try it the vocal dry the only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all and with the Excel 305 it sounds like this the only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go. Hmm, a bit mid-rangey, but in a cool way. I, I'm certain this sounds really, really good on distorted guitars, distorted vocal. And of course, you can because we have the technique now. We can shorten it, and we can make pre-delays and whatever. EQ before the reverb, EQ after the reverb, compression after the reverb, chorus after the reverb. Put it upside down through a flanger into a phaser that is parallel with the dis distortion. Why not? Just experiment. We have two reverbs left from Nevo's impulse responses. We're going to try them with the snare. Let's listen to the snare just a couple of hits dry first. And then we're going to load up the reverb system 9 and it sounds like this. I'm thinking hand claps, I'm thinking percussion, I'm thinking uh, things like that when you need an obvious mid rangey tail that is really cool. Listen to it again. It's a bit of gunshot thing, but if you need a gunshot thing, why not? And the last reverb is the Stocktronics RX4000. I have this on two and a half seconds. And this is a plate again. I have it on the re uh, I have it on the snare. And it sounds like this. Really bright and a bit splatty. Could be cool. I don't know where I would use that one, but Do you know where you want to use that one? Let me know. This kind of splatter reverbs I rarely use. If you have some cool trick to make them work or maybe make a cool sound on something, let me know. So what is my conclusion? Well, first of all, they sent me these reverbs for free. But I don't have to say good things about them if I didn't think they were good. But they really are. These are the only vintage reverbs you will ever need. Maybe you will need other reverbs also, more natural sound, more splatter reverbs, more digital reverbs. But these are the only cozy, warm, dark reverbs you will ever need. What do they cost? Well, the cost is $29.95 for all eight of them. Yes, you heard me. All eight of them cost under $30. That is about 25 euros, which is a really good price. And I will give you an even better price. If you order the bundle of eight reverbs and also include their new impulse response of the AKG BX15, which costs $10, you will get that one for free with this code. This offer will end two weeks after this video is released. So hurry up and get them. You will not regret it, I promise. I didn't have to say good things about these reverbs, but they are really, really good. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found that interesting. 
please subscribe and go buy these plugins. And I hope to see you soon. And the Swedish word of today. Some of these reverbs were spring reverbs. And spring, in this case in Swedish, is fjäder. Fjäder. And roger that.